Hello everyone, I'm Frequency, the owner of FPS7.com. I have been optimizing CS players' computers for 7 years now, along with many of the professional players competing in big tournaments you watch on Twitch. In this guide, I'm going to show you how to optimize your PC for CSGO. You can follow me in this video, or you can follow the step-by-step -step guide in the link in the description of this video. Let's get started. Click on the search bar, type restore point, and your C drive. Click on Figure, Turn on System Protection. Set this to approximately 10 GB. Press Apply, OK. And then click on Create. Set a name for this. Press Apply. And wait patiently. When it's done, press Close and restart your computer. Let's check for updates. Type updates on the search bar. Click on the first result. Check for updates. And if you have any updates, please install them and restart your machine. Type malwarebytes.com and go ahead and download the latest version of Malwarebytes. Run the installer and install the program. Press done when ready and go ahead and do your first scan. This might take 5 to 10 minutes depending on your computer speed. Press done when ready. If you see something like this, press quarantine and OK. Click on the GitHub repository link to download the power plan. When you have it downloaded, move it on the desktop. And from the desktop, move it to the C drive. Open a CMD Windows administrator and make sure to copy paste the commands on the guide to activate the power plan. When you're done, you can make sure the power plan is activated by following these steps. Open the CMD Windows Administrator and copy the commands to force the 0.5 timer on Windows. Click the link on the guide to download ISLC and follow my steps to set it properly. I use 30,000 megabytes because I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, but you can use 14,000 megabytes if you have 16, or 6,000 megabytes if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM. Open the RAM dialog from Windows and make sure to go to these directories from the guide. Follow my steps to clean Windows 10 junk from your computer. You can copy and paste the directories from the guide. You can also do some in-depth C drive cleaning by following my steps. Check every box and press OK. Wait patiently for the process to finish. Then go to the same location again and click on Clean up system files. Check the boxes again and press OK. You can also tick to remove your previous Windows installations, but make sure you don't have any other files from your previous installations of Windows. Open Dust Manager by pressing Ctrl, Shift and Escape on the keyboard. Navigate to the Startup tab and disable whatever you don't want. Copy the link from the guide to download Display Driver and Installer. Follow my steps for the installation process. Once the program is open, copy my settings and make sure to choose your device type from the right. I use NVIDIA, so I'm going to click NVIDIA. The 
Then click on clean and restart and wait patiently for it to finish. When your computer is back up, click the link on the guide to download Edwin Clean install and follow my steps for the installation process. Select the latest driver, press next, don't take anything, press next again. When the driver finished downloading, copy these settings. After you press next, click on install and wait. Click the link on the guide to go to my GitHub page and download the CSGO profile. Copy the contents of it, paste it on a text file and save it at csgo.nap on the desktop. Once it's done, Go download the video profile inspector from the link in the guide and follow my steps to install the CSGO profile. Head over to bitsum.com. Download and install a process lasso. Once the program is open, go ahead and launch CSGO. I'll tap from the game and copy these settings. Type CSGO on the search bar from the right. Right click, CPU Affinity, Always, and select CPU Infinity. Then, deselect CPU 0. Open Task Manager, go to Performance, CPU, and take a look at the numbers between cores and logical processors. If your logical processors have double your cores, go ahead and deselect CPU 0 and 1. Click on CPU Priority, Always, and choose High. Deselect Windows Dynamic Thread Priority Boost Enable. Follow my steps to clean the user data folder. Go to C Drive, Program Files 86, Steam, User Data, and then find your user data folder. Your thread link will tell you which folder is yours. Exit Steam and delete the folders I show you. You can back up the 730 folder just in case. Now launch Steam and copy the following launch options. Now Restart your computer. Open the game, choose your resolution and copy my advanced video settings. Now Subscribe to the FPS benchmark map. Click on play, choose your workshop map, and then choose the FPS benchmark map. When the map loads, open the chat and type dot benchmark.
wait for the benchmark to be finished. 